And I am back for day two. And I have my whole turd herd with me. Clinton, Jerron, and Levi. Thank goodness for pack and place. So, two goals today, because I'm only going to be here for an hour. I'm putting up my riding wall. Yes, an hour. I'm putting up my riding wall, and I'm going to attempt to put on the background of my calendar wall, and then I'm out. Because I have to go home and make dinner before my husband gets off, and then get these two to football practice at six. No pressure. So my baby just finished cutting out all of that paper that I laminated yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I am on my way to laminate some more paper for my writing wall. I'm thinking, what color should I do it on? I was thinking orange. Mm -mm, blue. Blue? But my calendar wall is going to be blue. Uh-uh. No. We'll figure it out. Okay, so apparently nobody laminated today, so the laminator was not on at a turn on, which means I'm going to have to wait for it to heat up. And in the meantime, I was going to do my calendar wall, and somebody smells a little funny. So I gotta handle that first. Totally underestimated my mom teacher abilities to put up a bulletin board with all three of my kids here with me. This is what I've managed to do in one hour. One hour. Y'all, I got my calendar wall done. Even though it is 440 and I should have been home cooking that's okay because thank God for fast food okay day three in my classroom and still not that much done but my husband works from home today so I plan on spending as much time as I can here he's taking the boys to practice so I kind of have until like eight o'clock tonight to see how much I can get done. So let's get started once again. It is definitely a lot easier to work without the talking and screaming and nagging and crying of my children and Look what I was able to do. Now, I still need to put my even and odd numbers here. Um, I have to get the names of the coins there. And over here, I need to put my baskets to hold the pieces for the rest of the calendar. And then I'll just like clean those off. Um, teacher tip, if you do not have any rubbing alcohol to clean off your um, whiteboard and dry erase boards, but you know polish remover will work as long as it's 100% acetone. You're welcome. I like to use the pocket chart because these numbers are different colors front and back so I like to make patterns like even odd even odd. When we count um, skip count I do um, by fives, by tens, and of course by twos, which is even and odd. So this is why I like using the pocket chart numbers, but I'm going to definitely have my son put those in when he comes with me tomorrow. Y'all, I just went in the workroom and somebody was putting these in there. That's where like we pull out our things that we don't want that's up for grabs. And look how perfectly that goes with my board. And I put the numbers for the calendar inside and then like the special day occasions that I just paper clip with pretty rainbow paper clips so that worked out perfectly and it makes my heart happy yay happy calendar so besides from putting up some walls some bulletin war some bulletin board walls most of my day has consisted of laminating 
I don't want to miss the boys' practice today, so I'm laminating as much as I can so that I can cut it out during their practice. And since labels are my friends, I'm labeling, I'm sorry, laminating, I can't even talk, I'm so tired and hot, all of my labels. These labels are going on the students' book boxes and their, what I like to call, home boxes. Okay guys, so I need to make these pencils and I need about 20 of them for my writing wall and this is how I keep track of who's on which goal. So I'm going to show you how you can simply cut anything from any website. So you just want to open your snipping tool, select new, and I'm just going to snip these pencils. Open up a Word document. Um, right here, here we go. And then just hit paste. And I'm going to paste that many times. And there we go, sending it off to the printer. Okay, one last thing before I leave. I'm going to put together my word work cart, which is right there, and it's those rainbow drawers. I'm going to put that together and possibly put the containers for my library on the shelves. And then I got to skedaddle. But I do want to show you guys what I've managed to get done today. I'm really excited because it's coming together. <sighs> and I only lost like five pounds. I sweated it out today. I should make a commercial. Thanks to my classroom transformation, I've lost five pounds. I'm out. That is a wrap up for day three. I have all my stuff that I have to cut out and I'm on my way to do it at my kids football practice. So hope you enjoyed it.